Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video we're making colored fireballs! It's... Well, welcome back. Now before we get on into this, we do need to stop and ask ourselves, why exactly are we making colored fireballs? I mean, yes, it is freakishly awesome, but there has to be some educational value behind this. Well, you see, in the next couple of videos, we're gonna be talking about the structure of the atom. And while we all know that there are protons, neutrons, and electrons that make up the atom, but how do we actually know that? I mean, for most of us, we know that because at some point in our lives, a teacher told us that. But how do we actually know for certain that there are particles that are smaller than the atom? Well, the flame test gives us a pretty definitive response to that question. All right, so let's zoom on in so you can get a better look at this. All right, so let's see what we get. I'm gonna start out with the lithium ion. So spray it on in, and you can see we get this beautiful dark red color. Moving on to strontium, spray that in. All right, we get a nice little red-orange. So moving on up a little bit in that color spectrum. The next one is calcium, and we spray that on. All right, we got a little bit more orange, but there's still a little bit of red in that. Next one is sodium. Now sodium, also orange, but you can see it's also got some nice yellows mixed in with that particular one. Next one up is barium, and as we spray barium on the fire, you can see that it adds a lot more yellow into, that, into the picture there. And the next one, my personal favorite, is copper, and as we spray the copper onto the fire, we're gonna get Oh, that beautiful green color right there. Oh, I love that one, that's so great. And last but not least, we got potassium. And as we spray potassium on the flame, you can see that we get a great purple color right there. All right, so now we got a good spectrum of colors there. The question we need to ask ourselves is, what does that mean? Well, since every atom gave off a different color, then clearly there must be something different about each of these atoms. Now, what is that difference? And what do those colors really mean? Well, that is a video for the next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. And if this is your first time viewing, thank you so much for joining us. And all I ask is that you hit that subscribe button and join our community here on YouTube. If you have any further questions, please feel free to comment below or send me an email to chemistrytalk at gmail.com. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Oh.